nickel, 20 bucks and gift. Nickel strip. It is pure nickel, I hope. I have to test this. One kilo of pure nickel strip. I put this uh, nickel strip to salty water and it seems that it's legit. It's not fake. I got this nickel strip here. Uh, it was forty-eight dollars uh, in eleven November day, but now it is fifty-seven. And this is real nickel. This is my my rating here connector. These are for my Orange BBC. Orange BBC has just it has this weird connection. I can't find anywhere this. And I bought five pieces to make adapter to make uh, that standard plug connect to this plug connector. 4 mm to 1.7 mm adapter plastic yellow head from Connect. Uh, this is for my or orange BBC. I tried and uh, it works. Next. Oh. Nice XT60 connector. They always come in handy. Oops. I got this. No. Hmm. This bag is different. Interesting. Yeah. Seems to genuine one. Uh, I have this fake, fake ones, and it, it it melts. It melts very low temperature. That's okay, and that's fake. If you try to solder, then it will come out and melt very fast. But this seems to okay. This is a uh, high temperature plastic, but this is not. And two more. I think these are the same. I can feel it. This is, yeah, it seems not fake too. It seems okay. Little different color, but uh, it's probably fake, I think. Okay, let's try to zoom.
so the plastic not melted so I think it's it's pretty good it's fake or not but it works I think this XT60 connector I bought from Cell Expert five pairs six dollars and five point CNP 537 20 pieces seven dollar eighty cents and HK enjoy shopping 215 2015 and this is four dollars and twenty pieces fuse okay. these are ceramic fuses I think they are better than glass fuses I can use these for my battery pack. Thirty amp and fifty amp fuse. Fifteen amp ceramic fuses, five to twenty millimeters, from Feni Feni, two thousand and nine, seven dollars, sixteen pieces, six sixty pieces, pretty good price. And these three amp fuses, same seller, same package, eight dollars sixty pieces. I hope these are stronger than glass fuses because glass fuses broke if you use force here. Okay, <coughs> these are fuse holders. It's rated for. 15 amps. I hope to find 30 amp, but I can't find 30 amp. Is this fit? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> These views holders, three dollars sixteen cents from Love Cell, 2013. One. Hundred pieces resetable fuse. <coughs> Zero point two amps, seventy two volts, fifty pieces. I think using them in my BMS wires. So if they short, in case. 1.1 amps 72 volts and polish switch fuse I got from Eric Heung Electronic 0 0.2 amps 72 volts 15 pieces $8.79 cents and this 1.1 amp polish switch fuse it was quite bigger so it's harder to use, uh, but I think BMS wires don't need one amp current, so uh, maybe I can use these somewhere else. Solder wire. Hmm. Solar uh, solder wire. 
this 0 0.8 solder wire 100 grams got from Globe Deal Mark. More shoulder uh, fifty grams, zero point five millimeters. It was cheaper to buy fifty grams three pieces than hundred grams. Nice solar wire got from MV M pool sale. Pretty cheap solder wire. Hmm. I think it's again more solder. Stuff. Yeah, zero point six millimeters solder. Hundred grams. Nice. And this 0 0.6 millimeter solder wire got from Bruce Shark 002. Mm. Oh. This is this cable, micro USB charger cable that shows charging speed. Let's test this. So nice. Now, if I a okay, no. Oh. Nice. So if no current loss, then it light it goes out. Very nice. It lights up both sides. And stops if no current. Cool. And this cable, I like that. Uh, very good. I love that cable. Uh, it works. Four dollars only. Uh, little shine stonky. Long back wire number marker. Oh. So every number three hundred and fifty pieces. So this wire number marker set 0 to 9 uh, got from Chinese tool Hmm. 
these are AC to DC converters. I think this works from 48 volt DC also. Uh, at 50 volt volts, the light is on, so it works. Let's try 50 ohm resistor as load. No load is 7.9 volts. If I put load on, then it's 10, 11 volts. So there's a little bit voltage drop. Let's see how low I can go. Let's try 35 volts. And let's see what's lo no load voltage. Okay, uh, 35 volts, uh, it's working already, so pretty good, low voltage. Let's try um, load this 35 volt input. Uh, it's not surviving this, but for 48 volts of grid battery it works okay. So this is my off-grid off full battery voltage. Let's see. Yeah. Almost no no drop. It's about three watts or something. So for motion detector it's perfect for 12 volt motion detector to use this my home lighting system and these 12 volt modules so you saw that I tested and it works fine even 30 volt DC but then output load cannot be that 400 milliamps but it works and I changed here are uh, volt voltage dividers and I can change that divider so uh, this thinks that the voltage is lower and raises up voltage so I can change whatever voltage I want up to 18 volts Whoa. It's, I think it's my I both used the uh, GoPro Hero 4 Black and these are accessories for this camera. Chest chest holder. Whoa. So many stuff. So many things that it so cheap. How oh, it's possible? Nice. No, and what is this? Oh, 
Piedmont, I think. Okay, this is so the camera won't go to the bottom of the sea when you drop it. So, so what? I never used GoPro before, so I had to learn how to use this stuff. I have no idea what these are for. Is this, is this, is this something like this? Uh, what? I don't know. I hope this is for bicycle mount so I can ride my e bike and record this. Uh, this is for car, I think. So I can attach it to car windshield and film while you drive. And then I have to I have to watch YouTube videos how to use this. I think it's bicycle mount. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Something. Oh. Got it uh, used. 200 bucks with memory card I think it's good deal I don't want Hero 5 because it's the resolutions and vid video modes is the same and Hero 5 is heavier this is lighter v without uh, waterproof box next oh yes this is another DC to DC converter uh, 60 volt input 15 amps output There are very few DC to DC converters that accept 60 volt input and this buck, buck converters. Step up uh, converters are so many, but not buck. I don't know why is that. High voltage input buck converters are pretty rare. So this is one of them. It's pretty cheap too. It's um, seven dollars or something. So, and it's adjustable, and I can adjust output voltage. I have a bunch of these, and these work great. Example: Try one hundred watt LED from forty eight uh, volt directly. So I love this. It says two hundred watt output, but I think that over one hundred you must use cooling fan. These are. Nice little devices. Uh, its output voltage can be up to 60, uh, 36 volts. I don't know any 
other DC to DC converter that that output is from 60 volt to 36 volts. Okay, let's test this 50 volts input. And what output will be? Whoa, that's not cool. 50 volt output? What the heck? What uh, that's not good. It should be thirty volt output maximum because these caps are thirty five volts. What's going on? Is this fake? What the heck? Well, I have another one that I bought before, so let's see if this works. This is very scary output, same as input. I imagine if this was house LEDs or something, it will blow up everything. I don't like this anymore. What the heck? Let's see this. if this works. Uh, this seems to be okay. 12 volts output. And input is 52 volts. Output 12 volts. Hmm, that's weird. So I take chip from this and put it here. That didn't work. And now it works, so I think that the chip is was the problem. It's weird marking, I can't find it anywhere, so I don't know. It is 40062A1505. Some something DC to DC converter chip, but I can't find it. So the chip, chip was problem. Now it works okay. Efficiency was about ninety percent, so pretty cool. But this inductor gets very hot. And this DC to DC converter was from Zip. Pumpkin, but the chip failed, and the output was same as input. That's not good. I don't know. This chip was failed. 